So today we're headed to Lowe's. Um, I gotta get the Hardy backer. I gotta get the stove pipe, the rain cap, all the parts and pieces to install the stove in the wood shop. I'm not sure how far we're gonna make it today because we got a windstorm and I just, I don't want loose pipe hanging out the wall. Um, well, I don't know if you could see. We don't have a windstorm today, but it's coming tonight. So I'm probably not going to go completely out of the wall unless I can be for sure that I can finish it. But for now, we're headed to Lowe's and when we get back, we'll talk about what we got. Let's go. Gotta stop and get some gas too. Okay, well, unfortunately, they didn't have everything I needed. I got all the pipe. I got the concrete board. I got the pipe. I got the self-tapping screws. And I got the tool for, uh, I don't know what you call it, the crimping the pipe, you know, when you have to cut it. Uh, otherwise, I believe if you have to cut the pipe, it's just garbage after that. Um, anyway, they did not have the gasket. That I needed so I'm going to I don't know um, I got the people from the stove place coming out to clean my pipe and stove out and everything it's my first year since they installed it um, so I get 50% off so I'm, I may as well you know it's like $85 with the 50% off um, like 175 before that something like that uh, so I'm going to take advantage of that, have them do it, kind of show me how to do it, make sure I'm doing it right. Um, I might have them just come out and replace the gaskets on the shop stove while they're there. Or I might just buy them on Amazon. I don't know. But anyway, I got the pipe, got the screws, got the tool, got the board. Now we'll get home and uh, get it all. Oh, shoot. I need to get gas. I almost forgot. Anyway, after that, we'll get home and we'll start looking at what we need to do I got enough start stuff to get me started I'm glad I was able to find that tool it's what puts the waves of the pipe there so we'll get all this in the shop and figure out what we need to do This is kind of what I'm going for. Two feet up, out the wall, and then up from there. Um, but like I was saying earlier, I, I don't want to start cutting holes in the wall and, and putting pipe together um, with the windstorm we have coming because I, at this point, I've got six feet of pipe, seven feet of pipe going up once it gets out of the wall, and I've got no way to support it. So it's just going to be dangling out there. I'm probably going to end up on the ground ruined when I uh, get home tomorrow. Now down here, I need to get a new gasket for the glass. Come on, stay open. I need to get a new gasket for the glass. I need to figure out the door gasket because this isn't really sitting right with me not having one. So I, I'm a little confused about that, but that's something we'll work on. Um... I think I'll get all the pipe and everything right over here with the stove because it's going to be sitting here for, I don't know how long, probably till next weekend at least. So anyway, guys, that is going to conclude this episode of Wood Heat Wednesday. I know it was a very short one, but it's what I could do. So we'll see you next Wednesday.